Always on, on air, online, on mobile. Fox Toledo News at 10 starts right now. A very exciting night for the Lady Rockets, WNIT national champions. Good evening, I'm Allison Brown. More than 7,300 packed into Savage Arena to see the matchup today. Fox Toledo's Mike Thompson joins us now live with some thrilling moments from that game. How about that, Mikey? Uh, I can tell you, Allison, it was an amazing afternoon on the campus of UT. For the first time ever, the Lady Rockets were playing for a national championship. Toledo, they came out early and they showed, despite being a much smaller team, that they had the toughness to compete with the big girls. Nama Shafir got the scoring going early. The first bucket of the game puts her team up 2-0. And then just before half, watch this. Drives the lane, scoops, scores, buzzer sounds, and she's pumped up. UT led by three at the break. Second half, shot clock winding down. Nama steps back and pops it. Toledo, that put them up 52-47. They go on to win this game by a final score of 76-68. They are the WNIT national champions. And afterwards, there was a pretty famous Rocket alum who was real excited about the win. NIT champs, unbelievable. They believed the whole time. I watched every one of these games here. It was unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Congratulations. It's just been amazing to watch this crowd. I don't think it's been like this for 20 years. It's just unbelievable. And I'm just so proud of our citizens uh, for coming here, supporting these women, and going crazy at the game. Definitely an amazing atmosphere to be there, to be at Savage Arena, to be one of the 7,300 plus to witness the school's first ever women's national championship basketball game. I, I will tell you, Allison, and for the viewers out there, this it was an unbelievable scene running onto the floor, the mob. It was crazy. Talk a little bit about how this also brings the city together. I mean, the mayor's out there. I mean, 7,300 people out of control. You say 7,300 people tonight, but let's go back to earlier in the week. There was 7,020 people at that game, and then at the week before at the Syracuse game, there were over 5,000 people at that game. So if you just do the math real quick, that's close to 20,000 people going to support the Toledo Rocket women's basketball team. And this it helps a lot that Savage Arena has been renovated over the last few years. And just to get all those people in one venue supporting one goal, and you know that's, that's winning togetherness and, and building cohesiveness, that's exactly what happened. And the mayor hit it right on the head when he, he said he's just so proud that this community came together and uh, put a smile on people's faces. Absolutely. And Nama Shafir, 40 points. Talk about that a little bit. I mean, pretty amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Nama Shafir scores 40 points in the championship game. She was tournament MVP. I'm talking more about her later tonight in the sports cast. But this is a girl who, uh, she's an Orthodox Jew, meaning there are certain things she can and cannot do because of her religion. And we totally respect that because that's how she lives her life and that's what she's dedicated to. For instance, some things she can't do when she goes on trips or when she's home, she, she has to have somebody hit an elevator button for her, turn the light on and off. But the big thing about tonight was practicing, you know, on the Sabbath, it was on Saturday for the Orthodox Jews, she wasn't allowed to speak to the media, she wasn't allowed to really do anything until after sundown, and she had to get special permission from her rabbi to even play on to play in the game today. So it was a very big thing for Nama and uh, congratulations to her and the rest of the Toledo Rockets for their success and a national champion at that. I'll have more in sports later on in the show. Allison, back to you.